We'll see if I can knock this out this time, Mike. What's up, everybody? I've uh, been away for a while. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by, even though I haven't been active for the last couple weeks. I wasn't sure if I was gonna start or shoot this video. I'm saying I'm trying to think to say here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna shoot this video today because I didn't really want this to be the video that I came back to you guys with. But I also don't wanna leave you guys hanging, especially on the IS. So as you see here, I've massacred my trans seal out, which was not fun. I'll pop up in there and show you guys what's up. I'm also going to tackle the throttle body, which I'm already, as you can see, it's loose and I'm ahead of you guys. So let me show you this seal real quick. All right. So what makes this seal hard is this little sling ring protector guy here and then it's solid metal. So you can see like a little chip right there, one right there. That was not, yeah. So those two areas, there's a trick, I'll show you guys, but that's it, it's a new one. Nothing special, and it was a major pain. I would suggest not doing it on the ground on jack stands. So, one of the tricks is I used a screwdriver, and it doesn't have any knurled ends. It's like a very smooth screwdriver, very slick. And that's so that it doesn't mess up the metal uh, all that much, you know what I mean, on the trans, because I had to take a file, I think of where these tools are. This is the kicker. If you guys don't know what these are, these are called bushing knockers. This makes it a dream to go in. You got a couple different sizes on these. Um, these are blue point or snap on. You obviously don't need those. You can cheap out if you want, but we got the good stuff. So, jumping into the throttle body over here, I am ahead of you guys and I left my light down low. But this is pretty easy. So, like, you got this little bracket. It bolts up right there and then to the bottom of the throttle body. Unbolt that little guy there. You also have these three, the two screws and one nut. There's one nut, I don't know if you can see it. It's like right, it's in the dark under there, right there. That's gonna hold the throttle body to this little plate right here. Now the nightmare is gonna be getting all the little hoses and all under. Take you guys along for that. Oh. These are two little tin mills that are bolted up on the back side of your cable. They kind of bolt up right there in those two holes. And to get the cable out, you just take and turn your throttle body and there's a groove in there, see it? And you just slide the little cable out, it pops right out. I'll show you when I'm going back in. Uh, and yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So let me set you guys up. I'm gonna finish getting all the hard stuff off the bottom of the throttle body, the hoses, I think there's like two cooling lines, a couple vacuum lines, and we'll bench this thing, start to take it apart and put my excessive throttle lock in there. And then we should be good to go. I have an alignment appointment set up. I know it's terrible. I have to like bring my car an hour away to get an alignment because nobody in my general area is good enough to align a car with angle blows my mind um so i got that set up for next week then we have to get into prepping mel's car so it's kind of crunch time but not really crunch time because the event's in a month from now so let's get at it quit talking and get some work done tab is going underneath here take note you'll see they have like little safety like a little safety clip on those bottom ones and those are probably gonna be a little bit difficult to get to these are eight mils but I'm gonna use a 5 16 don't try to creep up on me Debo so I just took my little screwdriver this little guy right here bent it out now Thank you. 
All right. Well, piece of that. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Get this little guy out. And um, oh well. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Y'all can see this. So this is your forward unit throttle body. This is your stock plastic. Um, right now they do give you instructions. Feel free to pause the video on these instructions. You should have those. Uh, essentially, you can see under here they got two little dimples. Those are going to sit on this ear and this ear. This throttle part comes right here. This is your factory one. So it should sit pretty smooth and flush in there and kind of be in those grooves, which is lined up like the X and the S one over here, which it seems like it's sitting flat. You put it in there like so, and then put this little Johnny back on there. And if you guys can see, that's your tab under there that's gonna catch and throw that. So we should line back up pretty easily. Okay, yeah, it's sitting flat, see? Boom, yeah, there we go. All flat now. Then you just wanna work it back in. Floor is probably about that. I don't know if you guys can see that angle. Probably about that. You know what? Let me see if I can get a little better. So before the throttle opened to about that, now it opens that. So about 80% before. Okay, well, yeah, you get the idea. Thing fun. It goes crazy. So let's clean this because that's pretty dirty in there. We clean that up and slap this little guy back on the car and we should be good to go. I hope, I hope. We'll give her a second to warm up. Let her learn everything. I had the battery disconnected, so. Still got to mount the tires. So the pedal's a lot, like it, it feels a lot more stiff. It reacts a lot sooner. Um, I'm almost out of gas, so. Uh, yeah. Hey, so we got an event coming up, so I'll touch back on actually how it performed at the event. Um, got a lot of stuff outside, so I'm not gonna take the car out today. And I still have to go get in the line. So, yeah. Let's finish up here. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Let's see. All right guys, so this isn't how I would like to end this video. I wanted to take you guys along for me or with me to get the alignment, which I did do, but the alignment didn't come out the way I wanted it to. And it just kind of went in a different direction. So I decided that I'll make another video about what I had to do and get in the alignment and I just end this video here. 
So, uh, I also forgot to the shoot to install of the throttle body. So if there's any questions, guys, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, if this video helped you, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Peace.